the United States of America, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. At this time, we're going to have words from our mayor. I want to start by wishing everybody a happy Veterans Day. I want to remind you that the parade is uh, Sunday, 1.30, right, Bill? Yeah. 1.30, leaving from in front of the new Ross Street School. We go out to Route 35, make a left, go to the corner uh, by St. James in the Rio, make another left and go right down Main Street to the reviewing stand in front of Town Hall, and then there's a reception back at the Woodbridge uh, American Legion down on Berry Street. So I hope as many people as can come out it's always a great day. It's not, you know, it's, it's, we never get a great turnout. I don't know why. We really should. We really should. Just like the Irish parade and just like the, uh, the holiday parade, we really should get a good turnout for this. So let's hope everybody tries to get out. Um, I want to recognize Debbie Meehan, your fifth ward councilwoman. Debbie. <laughs> Whose idea was this? This is fabulous. Yeah. Whose idea was this? Cynthia, Cynthia Rosich, let's hear for Cynthia. This is really cool. That's such a terrific idea. Well, anyway, you don't need to hear from me. We do have proclamations. Are you going to do them now, Cynthia? All right, I'm going to call you up one at a time. If you guys can come up, then you want to help me pass some proclamations out? These are, it looks like, alphabetical. Uh, Bill Enzella, U.S. Army, 1961-62. Have you guys taken a group picture yet, Sin? Yeah. They did already. Have we got that picture? Did, yeah. Okay. Uh, Bernie Berg, U.S. Army, 57 to 63. Where's Bill? Oh, come on, man. Paul Barnard, U.S. Army, 52 to 54. Oh, nice. Bill Povaird, U.S. Army, 55 to 58. Stu Brandau, U.S. Army, 43 to 46. Oh, you yeah. Okay, that's all. Okay, thank you. Where's Stu? Uh, Genevieve Bozinski, U.S. Navy, 44 45. I'll come to you. Stay there. I'll come bring it to you. Here. All right, Debbie will bring it to you. I'll keep going. Luis, oh, Luis Canillo, U.S. Navy, 57 59. Where? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Jack Cassidy, U.S. Marines, 55 to 58. Who said Jack? Bob Cristino, Army, 63 to 65. Vito Coletti, Army, 51 52. Hi, Jack. Army, 42 to 45. Vito DiPaola, Army, 53 to 55. Vito DiPaola, Lester Dietz, Army, 65 to 67. Better than this. Congratulations. Jim Eddington, right here, Army, 67 to 70. Henry Endries, U.S. Army, 61 to 64. Steve Fedorchak, Army, 71 to 75. Bill Feldman, Army, 
43 to 45. Where's Billy? I don't see Billy. Uh, Adolf Forzak, Navy, 59 to 62. John Foley, Army, 55 to 57. Anthony Giantasso, Navy, 42 to 45. That's all right, take your time. Thank you for your service. I think you have the record, 1942. I think you have the record so far. Congratulations. Isabel Giordano, Navy, 1980 to 2000. Twenty years of service. Stephen Gubernat, Army, 65 to 69, and 83 to 03. Nick Hammond, 09 to 16. Eugene Heiser, Army, 42 to 46. Tied for 42 there. George Hurst, Army 45 to 52. Jack Yakovos, Army 64. Ed Kelton, Navy 50 to 52.
Congratulations. Howard Saltzman, Navy, 52 to 54. Andy Sarisky, Army, 64 to 70. Army 67 to 69. Bush Schneider, Army 53 to 55. William Shern, Marines 43 to 46. Alfred Sigismondi, Army, 50 to 53. Frank St. Marie, Army, 50 to 53. John Stolowski, Navy, 64 to 68. Anthony Verazzi, U.S. Army, 45 to 46. Stanley Wardensky, Army, 70 to 76. Matthew Winkler, Army, 67 to 69. Bill West, Army, 65 to 67. Swinek, Army 60, 1960. 60, 64, 60. All right, we got that wrong. All right. Close to that. Thanks. Alan Wilson, Navy, 46 to 48. Thanks, Bob. Henry Wong, Army, 50 to 52. Martin Zack, Army 64 to 68. Uh, Bob Zanowski, Army 57 59. Pazzarino, Coast Guard, 43 to 46. All right. Hey, Henry. All right, pal, how you doing? Happy to drink here. Where's Pat? Pat Pazzarino, no, there's Pat. I'll be right there, I'll be right there. I mean, well, last but not least, Phil Messina, Army, 44 to 52. So, congratulations. Uh, you know, it's humbling to read these years. I mean, I'm born in 58, and you, most of you here were fighting for our freedom before I was even born, and I'm 61 years old. So that's, that's, uh, that's remarkable. Thank you for everything that you've done.
Yeah, did you announce the parade? I didn't announce the parade. Where yeah. it is? Don't where in the time? One thirty Sunday is the parade. Yep. Ross Street School. Ross, right in front of Ross Street School. Just it's right behind the Rio Diner. Yeah. So if you go to the Rio, have breakfast and then march it off. <laughs> so thank you all again for coming out. Thank you for your service. Stay to pay tribute to those who have served and those who are still serving in our armed forces. We are grateful for their dedication and commitment and the countless selfless acts that they have performed and the sacrifices of their families so that we might continue to enjoy freedom. We thank you for their service to this nation and we thank you for the commitment and service to our community and our society. We are mindful of the fact that many of the comrades sacrificed their own lives on the fields, on the seas, and in the air where battle of war was fought. We also remember those today with great reverence and thanksgiving. We thank you for a great land, for life, for liberty, and the freedom to pursue happiness, the legacy of our forefathers, which is being protected by those who now serve. Please bless our gathering and strengthen our faith as we honor those who have served, those we have lost, those in need, those who are still serving. And we never forget what they stand for. We ask this through your son. Amen. Cover. And I've had hundreds of kids, young men and women, that I've had in my paper that I'm honored to share with the community every month. And it's a way that we don't forget the things that people do overseas and at home. And, you know, sometimes we go about our lives and we forget the sacrifices and the many things they do. So I just, I, I'll be quick, I just want to thank you for your service. I appreciate everything you've done. And I'm really looking forward, because one of the biggest honors I have that I've gotten last week was I was asked to be the Grand Marshal for the Veterans Day Parade. So, so I'm really, really excited about that and I'm so honored to, to lead my veterans down the street. So thank you for all you do and enjoy your breakfast. Good morning. To my fellow veterans, brothers and sisters, thank you for your service. And uh, I thank those who went before us, I thank those who served with us, and we are helping those who are following us. God has been great to this country. He has provided people who are willing to step forward and protect everything that we have. And we should never forget that. I'm grateful every day to wake up in this country. I try to give back to this country. I've been an EMT. I'm a Navy uh, veteran, chaplain for the Vietnam Veterans of America. Uh, I am also the deputy OEM coordinator for CERT. So giving back to this country, to this town, has been a great honor for me. And I thank every single one of you, my brothers and sisters, for your service. The Navy, booyah! Stay well and hope to see you on the uh, the parade on Sunday. Thank you, Joe. We have the next up, Ron Davey, past commander of Post 471. Mr. Abohar wants me to be commander again. That's not going to happen. Five years plus two years as county commander is okay. Good morning, vets and guests. It's an honor to be here in front of you again. And, uh, it's our day, we were proud to serve, we're still proud to assemble and be here on this great day. Hopefully you will be at the parade on Veterans Day. Basically I was asked to speak on the uh, Sansom Woodbridge Veterans Group. Basically my job there is to find jobs for veterans. Most of you obviously are past the retirement age like I am, but we're still all helping veterans in any way we can, as we should. And this town is doing it. Uh, on my office hours are on Wednesdays from 8 to 12 for anybody that has a uh, son, grandson, anybody involved, as long as they have military experience. Male, female, you're all welcome to come down. Give me a call first. I will arrange the schedule. 
Um, it's, a, it's a great thing that the town's doing for our veterans, and I'm proud to be part of it. We've been doing this now for about four or five years. Um, the thing that's changed the most for me is not only the satisfaction of helping somebody or guiding some, somebody, a veteran, to where they can find gainfully employment for their support their uh, family, but it's also important that uh, we continue to do this, and that's what we're here for. That's what I'm here for. I love the job. It's great. And the people I meet are great. And when, they find, when we find out that they've uh, successfully gained employment, it just it makes your day, it makes your week, it makes your month, it makes your year, really. What I found, though, in the, uh, in the four or five years I've been doing this, is that uh, due to uh, uh, things that weren't available when I was there, like, you know, your laptops and everything else, most of the veterans, a lot of them, when they're approaching six months, three months before their discharge, uh, whatever branch they serve in, they are already active on their laptops, whether it's overseas, on a ship, whatever, uh, to try and set up interviews, applications for college, resuming their college careers, and things like that. So I don't get as many personal uh, invites as I did four or five years ago, but it's very important uh, to me to find out that this is available, these are the modern times, and laptops are king over there. Uh, most of us here weren't even laptops when we were in service, so, this, but it's good. This is a good thing. Uh, we'll continue to do this in Woodbridge, and Mayor Watson, uh, he asked me years ago to help lead this. I have a lot of assistance from uh, from various people, various veterans groups, various posts, uh, which is very much appreciated. Uh, if anybody knows a veteran that's looking for a job, uh, the office hours are Wednesdays from 8 to 12 at Town Hall, third floor. Uh, it's best to try and get uh, an appointment, please. But uh, can't find too many jobs for guys already from the time. Now, somebody was just saying, and turning to a friend and saying, why don't you call and get a job? And he looks like he's as old as I am. But anyway, seriously, we're available. Uh, you can call, you can email, you can call town hall, leave me a message, whatever you feel like doing. I'm here to help. I'm proud to help. And go Navy. Thank you, Ron. Thank you to our mayor. Thank you to all of our veterans here. Thank you to all of our speakers. Councilwoman Debbie Meehan. Um, and uh, we're going to be serving breakfast shortly. I'm sure you guys are hungry by now. So we'll be calling tables momentarily.